Hello guys, my name is Ryan Plaza and today I am going to brief you on my education, the education that I've learned while selling the Smart Balance Wheel hoverboards. The things that I'm going to touch on, and I just want to educate and I just want people to, to know, uh, I'm going to touch it on the surface. You can reach out to me afterwards with questions. We're going to talk about distribution, negotiation, culture, and customer service. And I'm just going to go down the line as, as I've written down. Number one, we're going to talk about distribution. Distribution comes in many forms. Distribution comes from before you even get the product. How is that product distributed to you? And that is important because especially if you're dealing with China or, or anywhere else, um, you know, what is that price going to cost you? So there's a price that they want for that item, but then there is a shipping price. So yeah, you get a product and it's a great product. You get it for $100, but your shipping could be $50 to $100 and that doubles your product. So it's very important. You have to see how that distribution, you know, one of the biggest things I learned is distribution when it came to product. And that starts at the point that you even receive the product. Now, think of it when you go ahead and, and you resell that product, right? If you have a product that's going to be shippable, that you're going to ship across the U.S., not only do you have to factor in what it costs to ship to you, what is going to cost to individually ship that item as well, right? So distribution comes in the form of you getting distributed the product and you distributing back out that product. Also, in my case with the Smart Balance Hoverboards, I had to be careful because if I was shipping this item at one point in time because all the media and the press, they stopped shipping. They didn't want to ship it. So here I am with product and people across the U.S. wanting this product and I could not ship it out. So that really affected me. Number two is negotiation. With this product, I learned a lot about negotiation. Um, you know, that's negotiating with my resource, my connection. That was negotiating with my clients and that was negotiating with retail space. My advice is on this is know what you want out of the deal before going in and know how low that you would go in this deal before you um, go in as well. So always have in mind, okay, you know, I, I, the lowest I'll go is at this product is $100, but I'm willing, uh, but I want $150, right? But now you know that margin, you know, as low as you're willing to go and you know, I don't know what to say, and my rule about that is put them on the offensive, tell them what they what they want to um, pay and what they want to do, and then you can go off of there because you may want a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars, and they may come in and say, oh, we'll give it to you, you know, we'll, we'll buy it for two hundred dollars from you. Hey, you're in a win-win situation. Move forward. The next thing was culture, and you know, especially with me dealing directly with a product in China. You know, one, okay, so right now it's 3.24 in the afternoon. In China, that means it's 3.24 a.m., right? So if I wanted to do any business, I know that right now, obviously, it's not the time to do business. The ideal times is from like 8 to 9 at night on our time, U.S. time. Um, you know, they're 12 hours um, ahead. So you would talk to them in the morning. So that was a really big thing that I was able to learn was um the culture right the culture of china when to call when not to call how they deal with things um another thing is when you're dealing especially in my situation and i had leverage i had credibility going in but when you're dealing with china um they're very they're very um they they don't trust americans much because so many deals have gone on and they've gotten burnt a lot of times and vice versa americans don't um it's not just americans and i'm not label or racing or anything here it's just west when it comes to business um you know has been a commonality you know a lot of people get burned and that's on both sides so there's a really big trusting so if you're ever dealing with somebody with the culture another um uh, part of the world, make sure you earn that trust because it's very important. You want this is your resource of your product. You know they could cut you off at any time, so you want trust. You want to build trust with them. The next thing was, you know, in import and export, they always tell you, and I learned more afterwards uh, to stay away from high end electronic products. And that was my first big product. You know, I was selling this item for anywhere between three to five hundred dollars. And um, you know, when you're buying a three to five hundred dollar item, think about like buying a PS4 or an Xbox or a computer for that sake. Um, you want that thing to work. You want it to work efficient, um, and you don't want any issues with it because three to five hundred dollars in today's day is, is still a pretty penny for a lot of us. So. Um, you know, be careful with that because with tech and newer tech, um, it breaks and, and things happen to it. There's kinks, there's issues, and that gets into my next thing, customer service. Customer service was a big lesson that I learned 
in this exploration because here I am dealing once again with the high end um, electronic consumer product from a three to four hundred dollar range. These people don't want any issues with it. They want it to work. So I had calls at all times of the day or night and um, I had to service these these um, calls. And what that taught me was just the customer service of it, right? Um, your name is everything. Your brand, your integrity is everything. If you want to be integrity and you want to be in business for a long period of time, you need to pay attention to this. So for me, it was, okay, well, how can I resolve this issue as fast as I can for this customer to make sure that they're happy and they're satisfied with doing business with me? So once again, distribution, very important. How you get your product and how you're going to distribute it. And think about that from an even larger scale. You know, you have sea, you have land, you have car. Even if you're dropping off this product to somebody or you're shipping this product off to somebody, it's going to cost. So remember to factor that in when you're negotiating that first price. Negotiating. Go into the deal with knowing what type of deal you want what you're looking for, what you're willing to walk away with, and stay firm on it. Just don't get too excited and say, okay, I'll give it to you for $5 when you really wanted 10 and the, the product costs you four seventy five. dollars So know what you want out of it. Next thing is culture. When you're dealing with other cultures, build trust. Build relationships based on trust. Trust me about this. Um, it's very important. Next is when you're dealing with high-end consumer products or any high-end product, um, remember to give, you know, you're going to come up with issues and customer service, last but not least, is very important. Um, you know, you, you have to service this customer. This is your brand. Your name is on the line when you're dealing with people. You want them to be happy and satisfied with you. Even if the issue went wrong, they're not going to be too upset with that. They're going to be upset with the fact that you did not try to resolve this issue for them. So customer service, culture, negotiating, distribution, all key things that I've learned during this process of selling the hoverboard, the smart balance wheel. Um, that's it, man. I just wanted to share that bit of advice with you. Um, take it in. If you have any more questions, I really just touched on the surface of these things. If you have any questions, reach out. Thank you.